Music and TrollMusic.com here with our brand new steel pan instructor, Mr. John Patty, world famous John Patty, recording artist, live performing artist, and heck of a nice guy. So how about you give us a little history of this little instrument? Sure, this is cool. This is an old oil drum from back in the late 30s and 40s in Trinidad, and they took oil drums and with hammers they would hit from underneath and on top to create little bubbles and shapes, and you can actually see it on this instrument here. See all the little shapes? In between there's no sound, but if you hit the circle, that's where the tones come from. And right out of the box, you can get some pretty cool sounds with this particular drum. So this one is tuned to a G major scale. It is, okay. G major, so you can... You can play a few different songs with that. I'll How about you give us a little demo yeah, of that? Sure, here's a few notes. Tonight. Yeah. So there's a book that you get when you when you buy the uh, buy the Jumby Jam. It's got a bunch of great songs in it, and you can learn it. And in a matter of minutes, you'll be playing your own steel drum music. Fun fact: the lion sleeps tonight when they say a weem away. A weem away is Swahili for lion. I hope you've learned something today. And now, <laughs> thank God. All right. So this is a good starting one. Now, when you get more advanced and upgrade. How does that differ from this one? Because this is like getting your toe in the water mm -hmm. of this instrument. I know they go pretty hardcore. How does this compare to what you play? Like when you play an out in concert or something? So obviously it's a little restricting because it's just one uh, one scale, G major scale, but the concept is the same. So you're going to hit the spe specified note uh, to get a certain sound. So this is a great way, like you said, to get your feet wet, tap around to kind of get an idea of the playing and what it's like to actually play the instrument, and then when you upgrade, you just apply um, you know, different motions and different layouts. Okay, how does like, uh, say, the one of the pans you play compare in price to something like this? Um, it's a little bit different in price. <laughs> <laughs> um, well put. Yeah. Uh, let's see, we can strike this later. This is a tenth of the price. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, this is a very affordable version. Uh, it's a great way to kind of get in and get started with playing steel drums and it's great to even have it's easy to set up in the house be able to play some songs kind of go over it's a great way to kind of start playing the steel drum so I know a lot of people just think one style of music well it's good calypso we're going to the island what kind of other music can you play with this instrument you can actually play any style of music. You can apply this to classical music, you can apply it to uh, yeah, country, maybe some rock. You'd be amazed because it has the notes just like any other instrument to have. You can play it. Most people think it's just an island based uh, sound just for island music, but it's really a lot of fun to apply to various various types of genres. And the books have all kinds of different uh, genres in it. So like it like, uh, comes like jazz. If you're, if you're curious out there, YouTubers, if you look up Andy Norell, He's like a jazz steel pan player. It's uh, nutty to watch him play. It's insane. It's like, um, well, for instance, you just did the uh, national anthem at the, uh, what, what was it? That was at the uh, Oriole Park at Camden Yards, a major league stadium up in Baltimore. And uh, it was a really neat experience to go up there. And a lot of the people there, a lot of the fans, had never heard the steel drum play the national anthem before. So they had no idea they could do that. And it was a great way to demonstrate what the drum can actually do. Yeah, so they have the stand version that come with little feet, or I guess they're about a size 12, I'm guessing. And of course they have a tabletop version, which is a little bit cheaper. It's about 20 bucks cheaper if you just want to have set on tables, so you don't have to have the stand. Like Probably for me, not, yeah. Not here, so. Yeah. yeah, like I'm a, I'm a giant, so the tabletop works better for me because I can put it up on something, so I don't have to lean down and play this tabletop version. So, I mean, it's great for kids, something like this, or just having your house, like in your foyer entryway or if you'd actually just play and practice. The tabletop version is great for anywhere. You can play it and have fun. The books are easy to go through because it just tells you, like it has the melody line, but it has just basically what note you're hitting for each syllable of the word. So, or the general chords that you're gonna be playing on top. 
with a CD. It tells you, I know most people, it helps if you know the song or familiar with it. And if you hear a CD, you can actually hear what you're messing up and how to fix it. So And play along to it, too. Yeah, exactly. Play along. So you have your own backing band without having to pay a lot of random people to come in your house and indulge you while you play your jumpy jam. Eat your food, too. Yeah. Snacks. Drink your beer. You know. Get into your nice, classy box of wine. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I started out. Really? The box of wine? <laughs> you know, the great thing is, what you drink a box of wine is like three bottles in there. You pull the bag out, inflate it, and use it as a pillow to pass out on. That's just science, folks. Look it up. It's true. Yeah. Next. So, this, is a, this is a great way to really get started. Learn the basics of it. Get a few tunes under your belt. And if you like it even more, you can certainly go to the next level. But you can grab it right here at Troll Music, and I can help you out and learn how to play it. So check out the Jumpy Jam and John Patty at Troll Music and TrollMusic.com from Troll Music in Venice, Florida. This is James, as per usual. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Like us on Facebook. Like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cliff, would you like to show what those boxes look like? The Jumpy Jam. And of course, for love of God, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Then you can see all these videos right when they pop up. You don't have to hunt for them. You could be missing out on something you didn't even know existed. What's the matter with you? Check it out. This is awesome. Duh!